What's going on everybody and welcome to CS5 Unmasked. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the improvements I made to my Rory Burns Jason Part 5 costume that I made about 4 years ago. So obviously I can chalk this up to not having enough experience making costumes, plus working with the budget restraint really hindered the way the costume looked. Now over the last couple of years I did improve it just a little bit more, painting up a new mask, getting a different hood, even darkening up the coveralls, but still it really wasn't good enough. So I decided to spend a few extra dollars to see how much I can actually improve this, but yet still be in budget friendly. So essentially I just got rid of the old costume and started over from scratch. So I got myself a brand new set of coveralls. Now the old coveralls were just a little bit too big for me, so I decided to go with just a little bit smaller. And to my surprise, the fit was a whole lot better. I went ahead and emphasized the damage to the costume a little bit more by taking an old sock that I had, cutting it up, and hot gluing it to the inside of the coveralls. It really makes the damage to the costume stand out in all three locations. Where Pam took the chainsaw to Roy's left shoulder, where Reggie took the tractor and rammed him in the midsection, and even the inner part of the left thigh, where Tommy stabbed him with his pocket knife. And then using some red acrylic paint, I went over all of the injuries that Roy had received. And then I used a can of flat black spray paint, went over the entire costume to darken it up. And then I used some liquid latex to go over all of the bloody and damaged parts of the costume. Alright, now moving on to the hood. Now I essentially just bought another old man latex mask, but this one looks by far better than the original. This one fits a whole lot better, it has a whole lot more wrinkles in it, and the new one that I bought actually covers parts of the shoulder and the upper chest. Now as far as the mask is concerned, I decided not to go with a cheap Chinese knockoff, and I went with a Spirit of Halloween mask. Now I did have to resize this a little bit, but it really wasn't that difficult. I just trimmed it off until I reached my desired size. Now as far as positioning of the strap, the two pre-existing holes didn't really match up with the hood that I had. So I had to seal these up and make some new ones. I just used some E6000 to seal up the holes and then sanded everything down. And then repositioned the straps and painted the mask. And I think it actually turned out pretty good. The overall coloring is a little bit better, and it's a lot more comfortable to wear. And I'm extremely pleased on how it turned out. I think this is how I'm actually going to make all my Part 5 masks in the future. Now I know this image of me wearing an old man mask is the stuff that nightmares are made from, but I just wanted to show you that I actually did have to cut the eye holes out, just to ensure that I had the look that I was going for. Now this particular costume did cost more than $25. I ended up spending around $74. And everything that I actually used for this particular costume, I was actually able to order online through Amazon. And yes, most of it was bought out of season, so I was actually able to get a pretty big discount on certain items like the mask, the hood, and even the liquid latex. Now $74 is a far cry from what I actually spent on the original budget. And even though I spent around 25 bucks on the original costume, it still looked pretty good I guess, for only spending a small amount of cash. Alright, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I absolutely loved remaking my Roy Burns Part 5 costume, but now that the weather is getting a little bit better, I am going to be making more costume tutorials on the remaining few Jasons. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, or if you want to see costume tutorials on any other horror character, let me know down below. Alright everybody, until next time, this is CS5 signing out, and I hope to see you in the next video.